Lakeland Specialty Hospital, Berrien Center, and its predecessors have a long history of caring for those in need in Berrien County. The site of the current hospital began as a poor farm nearly two centuries ago and has had many iterations in the years since. County supervisors purchased 160 acres in 1846 for the establishment of a poor farm, the same land where the hospital is now located. The goal was for people in need to be able to grow their own food and live in one location. An 18 by 26 foot building was erected for the first 14 residents, including several children. Additions, renovations, and other outbuildings were built throughout the next few decades. In the early 1930s, the Board of Supervisors obtained a grant through the Federal Emergency Relief Act to demolish the aging buildings and construct a new county hospital, completed in 1936. Dr. Barkman was the first county physician and approved patients for admittance to the hospital. The county ran three operations at that time, the hospital, the infirmary, and the farm, which provided residents and patients with vegetables, eggs, beef, and pork. Farm operations ended by 1957 due to declining need and changing social welfare programs. Another major renovation was completed in 1961 to allow the 180-bed hospital to retain its federal accreditation. Dr. Weldon Cook was medical director at that time and would be a leader in bringing the complex into a more efficient, modern healthcare operation. Berrien General Hospital, a 250-bed structure, opened in 1963. The auxiliary at Berrien General Hospital was started in 1965. Jerry Josenhans was the first auxiliary president, and Elaine Chaudoir was a leader there for many years. I think volunteering is a spot in one's heart of what they really want to do. We just really, I think, served them donuts and coffee and started out that way. We started out very small. We wanted to get people to be out of their rooms and doing something. We started with crayons and coloring books. You'd go out there and, and you'd feel wonderful, but when you went home, you'd be tired, but knew you put in something good. Barry in general had many fine programs and dedicated leaders. Through the early 1990s, the hospital was a leading facility in obstetrics and long-term care, and also offered emergency services. Dr. Helene Johnson worked to develop an excellent obstetrics department at the hospital. She delivered over 12,000 babies during the course of her career. Dr. Johnson and OB midwives provided comprehensive care for most of the Medicaid patients in the area. We were trying to just capture the people that we could offer a safe, alternative to delivering at home. We cared for each other. It was a good group. Following integration with Lakeland Healthcare in 1994, a focus on long-term acute care began as other acute care services were relocated throughout the system. The facility was renamed Lakeland Specialty Hospital Berrien Center to reflect these new service lines and would continue to serve Southwest Michigan for another 20 years. The people at Berrien have always made the hospital unique. They're just a special group and it's very family oriented, it's very relationship oriented, and not just the, the staff and the folks working there, but of course the residents and the patients and the, the special bonds that have been created over the years. And it just truly is a, a very compassionate culture and it's sustained that over the years and it's been just a, a pleasure and a privilege to be part of that team. The next chapter in the hospital's history will see Sacred Heart Rehabilitation Center providing a variety of behavioral health services to those in the area with the greatest need and the fewest resources. This will ensure the continuation of the hospital's legacy of caring for those in need.